to move into the number two spot. Here's Michael Barnes working down to the inside. Bellinger going to the outside, working on Tyler Thompson. Coming down at the end of lap number one, it is Dave Gruel out in front. Here's the 68 of Barnes down to the inside. The seven of Sitterling on the inside of Allison Sloan as they head down the back, shoot into turn three. The race lead though. Dave Gruel has it right now, but he is not pulling away by any stretch. Tyler Thompson, Brandon Bellinger, Dave Danzer, and Keith Champagne all right behind him, running just about nose to tail, the top five. Dave Schulich back in six. Joe Gosick in the number seven spot, followed by Michael Barnes, Jeff Abel, and the 39 of Allison Slow, but Slow got passed by Sitterly. As they come down, and no, she held him off that time. Slowed, held on. Sitterly still in the number 11 spot out of top 10. Look at Michael Barnes down to the inside again. Barnes running behind the double zero of Joe Kosick. The battle out in front. Here is Tyler Thompson making a run at the 50 of Dave Gruel. Look down to the inside. Couldn't do it. Gruel not quite as tight to the inside. Thompson has that car nailed to the inside hub rail. Looking down to the inside between three and four. Gruel pushes out just a bit. Thompson can't take advantage. Bellinger back there in the number three spot. Dancer and Champagne followed by Schulick, Barnes. Schulick, uh, Barnes and Gosick now has lost a spot as we have a... Danzer working on the inside of Bellinger in that 52. Danzer working on Bellinger down to the uh, first turn. They stay side by side. Bellinger hanging tough on the outside. Sitterly back to the outside of Slode. Could not make the pass. Down in turn number three now. They have run an entire lap side by side. Bellinger on the outside. Danzer on the inside of battle for third and fourth. Dave Gruel, meanwhile, continues to hold off by the barest margins. The 98 of Tyler Thompson. Bellinger finally gets back by the 52, hangs on to the third spot. 52 Danzer running in fourth, running off the top five is Keith Champagne. Champagne up in the number five spot, working on Danzer. Schulich is running sixth, Gosick seventh, Barnes is eighth, followed by Abel and slowed in that order. Sitterly still out of the top ten in the number seven. He is followed by Didero running in the number 12 spot. That is exactly where they started, 11th and 12th. Tyler Thompson working on the 50 of Dave Gruel. Gruel holding the advantage down the back chute, going down into turn number three. They have pulled away by about a half a straightaway ahead of the 0-2 of Brandon Bellinger and the 52 of Dave Danzer. They are running third and fourth. Bellinger and Danzer, third and fourth. Now Champagne closing in on Dancer. Here's Thompson looking down to the inside. Could not make the run coming out of turn two. Thompson has to set back down in behind. The 50 of Gruel. Gruel goes high. Here's Thompson down to the inside. Down the front straight and Thompson can't make the pass. Gruel hangs on, but he is pushing in the corners, as is Bellinger. Bellinger pushing it a little bit down here in the first turn. Now Gruel opens up about a five-car length lead, and Thompson reeling him back in. Gruel out in front, Thompson in the number two spot, coming down off that fourth turn. Gruel has opened up a bit of a lead, and Thompson way ahead of the 0-2 of Bellinger again. Here comes Danzer now, going to make another run at Bellinger. Danzer down to the inside in three, charges hard in there. Can't make it, Bellinger slides to the outside, trying to hang on to that third spot. Danzer to the inside, Bellinger hangs on again. Your race leader, yellow flag is out. Just as your leaders were coming up on the slower car of Hal LaTulip. 11 of Eric Iosu. Coming out of turn number four, brings out the yellow flag. Eric was running way back in 18th. He, that car has been off the pace tonight. He's, I don't know what happened. Usually they come, they come right out of the trailer and they are one of the fastest cars. And yeah, there's something going on with that car. And, they're smart. They'll, they'll figure that out, and he'll be back. And Iosu catching the rear of the field down into turn number three. Green flag is out. Look at Tyler Thompson wants to make a run at race leader Dave Gruel. Can't quite do it as Gruel hangs on. Thompson in the number two spot. Bellinger continues to slide a little bit down here between one and two as the seven of Sitterly now. Looks like he's getting a little bit racy, trying to get by the number 39 of Allison Slowed Off the corner, here's that battle for third. Dancer down to the inside, but Bellinger holds him off again. Bellinger holds him off, but Dancer keeps working that inside as Bellinger is having trouble keeping it down in the corners. Schulich tried to make a run at uh, Keith Champagne. That's a battle for the top five spot, but could not make it happen. Schulich backs down into six. Gruel out in front, Thompson running second, Bellinger third, Danzer fourth, 
Champagne in the top five. Then it is Schulich, Gosick, Barnes, Abold, and Slowed in that order, followed by Didero, or followed by Sitterly and Didero. They're running 11th, 12th, then Ravels, Connors, and now the zero of Timmy Snyder has made it into the top 15. The zero hero moves up to 15th. They've got about a half a straightaway advantage over the third running car. Bellinger, meanwhile, continues to hold off the challenge of the 52 of Dave Danzer. Here's Sitterly on the outside, trying to make a run on the high side of the 05 of Jeff Abold. Can't make it happen. Falls back down in behind. Sitterly behind Abold, who is behind Barnes. That's a battle for shaping up for 8th, 9th, and 10th. Here comes Slowed back in the action, though. She has closed back in on Sitterly after bobbling a few laps ago and losing a couple of positions. Dave Danzer continues. Oh. Yellow, the yellow is out. we got a car up against the outside wall over in turn three. It is Eric Iosu again. Iosu bringing out the second yellow flag of the race here on lap number 36. 39 laps remaining. That car has just not been normal tonight. No, they've got they got an issue that they haven't found. It's it's evil because that car's he almost won there a few weeks back, running uh, sixteen fours consistently every lap. Thirty six down, thirty nine remaining, nearing the halfway mark. Down the back straight, Gruel get it on it quickly. Thompson not letting him get away. Bellinger goes to the outside of Thompson, looking down to the inside is Danzer. Nobody can make a change. They stay right the way they were. Gruel in front, Thompson, Bellinger, Dancer, Champagne. Here's Schulich now, looking to the outside of Champagne. The teammates go side by side down the back straight. Schulich on the outside, Champagne the inside, down into turn three. They stay that way, Schulich on the outside, trying to get around. His partner finally does, coming out of turn four. Dave Schulich moves into the top five. Schulich in the top five, Champagne running six. Look at the seven of Sitterly on the outside of the double zero of Joe Gosick. Sitterly on the charge, picks up a spot, stays out there, working on another position. Otto Sitterly on the charge. Sitterly picked up a couple of spots. Now he is running in sixth. It's Gruel out in front. Thompson second, Bellinger third, Danzer fourth, Schulich fifth. And the seven of Otto Sitterly now running in seventh. He cross flags, 38 down, 37 to go. Here's Sitterly now working on the outside of the 95 of Schulich. Couldn't make the pass out there. Sets back down in, now back to the outside. Sitterly going around Schulich in the high road. Coming off the fourth turn, Otto Sitterly now moves into the top five. Sitterly hung back for 25 laps. And now here he comes, but also look at now, Dancer finally gets by the 0-2 of Bellinger. Here comes Sitterly, going to try to get by him as well, coming off that fourth turn. 40 laps have been completed. Dave Gruel is still out in front. Tyler Thompson running second. Bellinger uh, drifted way out down here in turn number one. Sitterly had started to the outside, really had to get out of it hard. Now here he goes back to the outside between three and four, working on Brandon Bellinger. Back down to the inside, Sitterly in the number seven. 46 have been completed. Sitterly to the outside of Bellinger, but Bellinger goes way high between one and two. No room for Sitterly out there. Here's Danzer underneath the 98 of Tyler Thompson, and Danzer takes over the number two spot. Sitterly, meanwhile, way to the outside of Bellinger, could not make the pass. So Danzer now in the number two spot, got by Tyler Thompson. The 98 is fading. Bellinger holds off Sitterly. That is a battle back for fourth and fifth. There's Dave Gruel, your race leader, but Dave Danzer now in the number two spot. They are both running 16-8. Tyler Thompson in third, Bellinger fourth. Here comes Sitterly, hard to the inside. Sitterly now shoots down to the inside of Bellinger, takes the spot away, but drifts way high, and Sitterly loses the spot right back to Bellinger. The classic of 2015, or the uh, Mr. Super Modified of 2015, Sitterly worked that move on Graham. I don't know how many laps, lap after lap, finally got the lead and the win, but this is a battle back for the number four position. Your race leader closing in on slower traffic. As the 56 of Hal, or Falto, oh, you got a yellow up in the corner. Iosu again. That is the third yellow flag of the race, all three of them for Dave uh, Eric Iosu, 
Again, I don't think he hit anything. Gruel already getting on it. Motors winding up down in turn three. Green flag is out. Here comes Siddeley looking down to the inside of Bellinger coming out of turn number four. Siddeley on the charge, could not make it down to the inside. Dancer now, Siddeley does get by Bellinger. Siddeley takes over the number four spot. He'll move in now to challenge the 98 of Tyler Thompson as Dave Gruel is still the race leader, but he's got a challenge coming now from the 52 of Dave Dancer. Dancer in that runner-up spot. Off the corner, three to go. Are they gonna catch this pack of cars ahead of them? As those cars are all going by, the 56 of Hal LaTulip. LaTulip staying down to the inside. Gonna finish one lap down to the leaders, except the leaders are coming up on him quickly. Two laps to go this time, two more times around. Gruel out in front. He is closing in on Hal LaTulip. Again, Again uh, LaTulip has been lapped once, and here comes Gruel to try to do it again. They are gonna be coming up on him right as the white flag comes out. White flag is out. Here comes Gruel up behind Hal LaTulip. LaTulip's got to get out of the way, keep it down low. Gruel's got to go to the outside, and he does. Gruel to the outside. Dan's are going to follow him through out there, but he's not going to be able to do it. The checkered flag is coming out. The win goes to the 52 of Dave Gruel. Gruel gets the win. Dan's are in second, Sitterly in third, Thompson fourth, Champagne in the top five. So nine features, eight different winners. A uh, great race. Thank you, Randy. All right, here he comes. David, 10,000 reasons to have a big smile on your face in front of all these Novellus workers tonight here at Novellus, Mr. Supermodified. This one has got to feel really good for you. It feels awesome. I drove the thing as hard as I could. We've been struggling, picking up, gaining a little bit week by week, and uh, motor's been running awesome, and uh, just we were able to put it off, um, get it done tonight. You know, obviously starting in position made a big deal, but definitely want to thank Novellus. You guys are awesome for everything you do for the speedway in this sport. Thank you. Well, the 52, he was right hot on you. He had you lap after lap. He was trying to get you. Could you feel him there? Yeah, and I knew if I made a mistake, it was going to cost me $10,000. Yeah. All right. Well, David Gruel, everybody, back in victory lane here. He's been the king of wings, and now he's your Mr. Super Modified. Drops down onto the inside. We're going to be ready to rock and roll for 20 laps. They get ready to rev up those small block Chevrolets as they bring it out of turn four. Green lights are on. Kingsley on the bottom part of Speedway, but Mike Bruce from the outside. Mike grabbing up that lead. Bruce now with about a half a car advantage, moving down the back straightaway, going down to the turn number three. Anthony Lasorto up to the number three spot, shuffles around onto the inside. Anthony looking to coming up onto the inside. It's Bruce the leader, Kingsley still second, Lasorto riding back there to number three spot. Meanwhile, Dufefri in the number 11 car in the uh, fourth spot, trying to go up into the number three sp position. They come racing down out of turn number four and down the front straightaway. To Philly, in the number two spot, turns the quick lap with a 17.708 as they motor down the back straightaway. Kingsley dropping back to fourth, back to third. Lasorto is running in the number four spot. Lasorto, and we got troubles in River City is car number 01. A uh, loops around coming out of turn number four. That's Johnny Burke. He starts to rev it up as they go racing down into turn number three. Working on the high side of turn number four. Green lights are on. Down they come and a good drag race coming down the front straightaway. Going on the outside. Bruce coming up onto the outside. Doesn't work out. And here comes Anthony Lasorto. Anthony now trying to pick off the number two spot. Your leader, Dufilly, in car number 11, bringing him down off of turn number four and down the front straightaway. Dufilly up there in the front side, Lasorto, Bruce, Doyle, Kingsley, rounding out the top four. Then it's Burke back there in the number six spot, but out of the action right now. White flag will be coming out this time. Dufilly brings it down and over revs it just a little bit, coming down the front straightaway. 
Works off at turn number two. Anthony Lasorto remaining back there in the number two spot. Checkered flag is going to be ready to come out. No win. It's going to be going to Stephen Dufilly. Dufilly taking the win. Anthony Lasorto will protect his lead. Point lead in the number two spot. Mike Bruce is third. Dalton Doyle fourth. Barry Kingsley will be fifth. And credited with six will be Johnny Burke. Well, climbing out of the car, Stephen Dufley, your 350, Mr. 350 here at Oswego Speedway. Two for two in his runs here this year. Come grab yourself a cold drink, Stephen. You throw the hat on. Stephen, you set sail. It looked like the Rowley Rocket running around here. That thing was really running good tonight. Yeah, I mean, I certainly try and take pointers from him and my grandfather whenever I can. Um, they always do such a good job setting the car up with me and stuff, and uh, they really gave me a rocket ship here tonight. Um, just a lot of fun. Great people out here. Thanks to the fans. Thanks to the Teresis. Uh, giving us a great place to run at. Um, all the competitors, those guys are all good friends of mine. And, um, you know, I think it just really makes a good statement about our team. You know, we've had a lot of ups and downs this year, and uh, we go out every race and just try to learn from the last one and uh, show everybody what we're made of. Did it, did it look as good? Did it feel as good as it looked as we were watching you? You were totally dominant. Uh, yeah, no, it's probably the fastest the car has felt all day. Um, I was really impressed with it. Uh, we'll take good notes, that's for sure. Well, let us uh, hear about the guys that help you out. Yeah, my father, my grandfather, those are the guys that came out here this weekend. I can't thank them enough. They uh, hustle on the car so much. And there's a bunch of guys back at home that uh, couldn't make it out here this weekend. But Scotty, Jason, Leo, Little Phil, um, my mother and my grandmother and my sister are watching at home. Thanks to them. And uh, everybody that's helped this thing come together, it sure wouldn't happen without them. Want to plug some sponsors? Yeah, uh, Shea Concrete, he helps out a whole bunch. And uh, Malco Race Products. Uh, both, both those guys, it wouldn't be possible without them. All right, congratulations, Stephen. Mr. 350 Super Modified, and he's going to pull our 50-50 tonight. Mike Bruce in car number 04 inside that third row. Keep your eyes on him. Dave Cliff in the 50 car going away in the sixth spot. Lasardo in the seventh spot. Pace truck is in, ladies and gentlemen. We're ready to go green coming out of turn four. As the green lights come on in a drag race down the front straightaway. Outside lane, Cameron Rowe appears to be a little bit quicker going down into turn number one. O'Connor on the bottom side. Look at down onto the inside. It's the 04 of Mike Bruce taking a good run down onto the inside. Everybody crowding around. Look at Dave Cliff coming up and around the outside. They bring him down here in the front straightaway. La Tulip is up there in the number one spot. La Tulip goes into that number one spot. It is Rowe back there second. O'Connor running third. And uh, Dave Cliff back there in the number four spot. Dave Cliff trying to get a run coming down onto the inside. Josh Sikolik has dropped back to the number six spot. Mike Bruce in car number four. Dave La Tulip though up there on the front side. La Tulip opens up about a seven car advantage. O'Connor riding right there in the number two spot. Looking down onto the inside. Mike Bruce in car number 04. Bruce went to the inside to the outside. Going into turn number four. Down the front straight away they come. It's still La Tulip, O'Connor, Bruce and Cliff. And we got smoke coming out of one of the cars going down into turn number one. Dave Cliff up into that number four spot. He is certainly going to be a factor. Car pulling in at the rear pit, but we're going to keep our eyes on the action up on the front side. It's still a tulip. O'Connor, Bruce, Dave Cliff, Anthony Lasorto now up into the number five spot. They move coming off at turn number two. Look at Anthony Lasorto. He swings to the outside at the three-quarter point in the back straightaway. Dave Cliff also making a run up onto the outside. Mike Bruce right there and a couple of cars coming together. We got caution out onto the speedway. Latulip will be setting the pace. He doesn't want to break out of the pack. 
All right, coming up on the outside, Greg O'Connor, car number 90. They come down out of turn number four. Green lights are on, and we got a good restart coming down the front straightaway. It's LaTulip up there to the number one spot. Look at Sokolik. He is riding in the number three spot. He wants to go up to the number one spot. He hustles going up onto the outside part of the speedway. Going down deep into turn number three. Going on the bottom of turn number four. Sokolik right now could be wearing the hot shoes. O'Connor is second. Travis Bartlett is now back up to the number four spot. Bartlett running fourth, but the battle's going to be between the top three. Dave LaTulip in the number one spot with about a five-car advantage down to between turns number three and four. It's O'Connor, Sokolik, second and third. Sokolik again looks down out of the inside. Bartlett runs fourth, then Bruce back there fifth, and Flack in the number six spot. That brace for the top three going down the back straightaway. Josh Sokolik again putting the pressure on, going to the outside. Now watch him swing deep to the inside. Doesn't do it this time. Stays right up there in the lane. A 19-3-3-3 for your leader. Second place a little bit quicker with a 369. And a race going down the back straightaway down into turn number three. Josh again looking down out of the inside. Josh almost making a little bit of contact with Greg O'Connor, your second place running car, but cannot muster enough speed to get by. Bartlett still back there a distant fourth. Here is Josh again looking down out of the inside. He's going to have to switch lanes if he wants to get by. O'Connor holding on to the number two spot. LaTulip still the leader. LaTulip going to 19.273 on that last lap, bringing him down. He goes to 19.165. Dave LaTulip now opening up a good lead. The battle, though, still for the number two spot. O'Connor, Josh Sokolik riding second and third. Sokolik again looking down to the inside, down to between turns three and four. Sokolik going to the outside, and we got another yellow. Car in trouble up on the high side. It's the 04 car of Mike Bruce. Mike has been in trouble earlier tonight. Mike uh, got back up to the number five spot right up on the back bumper of Dave LaTulip. And let's see if he can come up with the number two spot. They bring it down out of turn number four. Green lights are on. And the drag race coming down the front straightaway. It didn't work. LaTulip up there in the number one spot. But here is Sokolik now. He gets a good run coming out of turn number two. He lays the hammer down to that Chevrolet. Moves down into the tricky number three turn. Can't complete it. Bringing it down. Dave LaTulip. Bringing it down here in the front straightaway. Going to 19.456. Sokolik going to 4.53. Sokolik is actually turning a little bit quicker as they race coming off a of turn two and down the back straightaway. Now your leader comes out at turn four, looks up in front of him. He's got two cars in front of him. White flag is out. Sokolik has got a long way to go. Your leader pushes up the racetrack just a little bit. Latula, will he be... The 2019 Mr. Pathfinder Bank Small Block Super Modified. Uh, yes, he wills. He brings it down off the corner. Dave Latulip takes the win. Finishing a good second is Josh Sokolik. Greg O'Connor is going to be third. Travis Bartlett is going to be fourth. Stephen Flack will be in the number five spot. Tony Pisa will be sixth. He laps. Let's go down and do Doug Kells. Well, everybody, let's hear it for David Latulip, your SBS Pathfinder, SBS Small Block Super, Mr. Super Modified, Small Block Super Modified. Put this on, David. We'll get, get him a nice cold drink. We're going to get over here. Well, you got by everybody and you took off. Monkey's off your back. You're finally here in victory lane as Mr. SBS, Mr. Super Modified. What do you think about that, buddy? It's pretty awesome. Uh, this is a pretty big one. That was a pretty risky move on the start, but I, I had a really good run coming off of two, and it just stuck. You love these uh, double file restarts? They're helping out, aren't they? Um, it, I guess it depends where you start, but, you know, it definitely makes things interesting, shakes some things up, but, you know, we, like I said in the heat race, uh, I think we finally hit the setup with this car, so... How happy are you to bring home the Mr. Super Modified title for all these guys back here? This is awesome. These guys have been busting their butts all season long. Um, like I said, after the wreck, 
in the shop for two weeks straight trying to fix this thing. And, uh, you know, if it wasn't for all my sponsors, Castilla Lawn Care, <clears throat> Burns Auto, um, GTB Inspect Services, CNB Jewelry, uh, hashtag Team Safety 33, you know, this is awesome. I got a debt this one to my grandfather, though. Uh, we lost him right before the season started. He's been my biggest fan since I've started racing. All right, congratulations, David LaTulip. Your SBS, Mr. SBS tonight.